WA. Tell them about it. All the canes going wild when we yelling this. What's going on, my canes family? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're just going to talk about the spring game for tomorrow. Uh, well, my thoughts, what I want to see, what, what kind of things I'm looking for in this in this particular game. It's really just us against us. So, I mean, it's important for the players to get experience, all that stuff. Um, but what, what we're going to get into is we're going to talk about what I want to see offensively, defensively, and what what has changed since the end of last season and what has brought been brought into from our new coordinators this year. And the key takeaway I want to see really is can we get the ball down the field and score? Because last year we weren't an offensive team at all. We were terrible throwing the ball last year. We, we would overthrow. We wouldn't even get damn near field goal range. We had to depend on our, our fucking kicker last year to, to win those games. And hopefully if our defense would hold up. But enough about last year. It's a new year. We're ready to see what, what the hell happens tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm ready to see it. But another key offensively, can our receivers go vertical and come down with 50-50 balls? Last year, our receivers could not catch a 50-50 ball if their life depended on it. The only receiver I would see catching 50-50 balls were Skinner and Restrepo last year. Hopefully, our, our freshmen coming in, hopefully our freshmen coming in, they have better experience of that. Hopefully, they, they come in, they ready to work, ready to put it on the grind on the field tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh... What else? What else offensively? Can we run the ball effectively? Can we see Jakari Brown actually work his accuracy out? That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard from uh, a couple coaches on, on their, uh, their what, what you call it? Uh, the, the post practice press, whatever it is. What? Uh, talking about. How he's gotten mature and he's and his arm is getting better. I've seen a couple videos. He's looking he's looking sharp out there. I see he looking sharp out there. He's maturing up. I want to see what what he does next season. If he even gets on the field at all, I hope he does because that kid's gonna be insane. <laughs> what did I say, kid, man? Oh my god, that's two videos in a row calling somebody a kid. God damn it. Okay, anyway. Brush that off. Now let's uh, let's talk about defensively. What I can see defensively between our offense, distinguish between our offense and our defense. What I'm gonna see, what I want to see from our defense is our cornerbacks. They they hold their leverage and they don't get out of phase and they stay in phase and keep keep the uh the, the receiver locked down, strapped up. You know what I'm talking about. And I want I want to see a couple turnovers tomorrow. I want to see turnovers tomorrow. I want to see forced turnovers, and then I want the offense to capitalize off those turnovers. Because we didn't really, every time we had a, a turnover last year, we could not capitalize on it. I don't know what what the reason was, but we were just absolutely horrible at capitalizing off of turnovers. We want to go for seven, not for three or a punt. Like, like bro, we can't just have run, 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 throw the ball, miss it, and punt. We can't go... Run pass, run, run, get mid, get past midfield, stall down and punt. We can't do that. That don't work. It's not, it's not going to work this year. It's not going to work against Clemson. It's not going to work against Florida State. It's not going to work against uh, any big team. Texas A&M, for instance, they were dog shit last year. But guess what? You know what they did? They held us. They held us to nine fucking points last year. They're dog shit. And they held us to nine goddamn points because we roll down the field and punt. Or roll down the field, miss a goddamn field goal. Or roll down the field, force us fucking to throw a turnover. Like, they, they knew how to capitalize off their turnovers and put it into points somehow. But we needed to start doing that. Get back to, the, get back to that. What, what we did in 2017. We get a turnover, we capitalize. We all saw that. 
in our 10 and 3 season with Mark Rick. We all saw that happen. Now, what I want to see is can can we win more than five games this year? Yeah. It, 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 I'm not saying it depends off the spring game from what I see. But that's just to, to give us a glimpse of, of what they're working on. It's like it's like a little it's like a little gift if if you will. It's like a little gift to us. Hey, this is what you should be hyped about going into the season. This is what we're working on. This is what we want to show you. And if it if if they come out and they just put on a fucking shit show, what we're, we're, we're gonna think is, oh, we're gonna win five games again next year. You know what I'm saying? Type deal. But if they come out swinging, like if we come out swinging, yeah, I think we're gonna have a better year than we did last year if we come out swinging. But I'm not gonna judge the spring game based off of what our season is gonna look like. Because, look, we played basically the same opponents that we did last year. And the only way I can see us winning more than five goddamn games is, can we can we do what I said? Uh, force turnovers, capitalize. Can we uh, have, you know, more juice into going into games? And when we go down, we got to stay motivated. Like, we got to stay what? motivated, you know? Uh, we got to stay motivated, ready to play. Hopefully that's what they come in with their juice tomorrow. I want I want that swag. I want that juice that they bring tomorrow. That's what I want them to treat it like it's a game on every like during the season. Any game during the season. I want that juice tomorrow. Tomorrow night. I want to see it. I want to see it. You know? That that drives that drives us Canes fans. We want to see that swag. We want to see that juice. We don't want the swag when we're losing. Like I remember Last year, not last year, the season before, when they before they took the turnover chain away, I remember we were down by thirty something to Alabama, and their backup QB, I think it was, or Bryce Young, threw a pick, and we bring out the turnover chain. We brought we brought it out. We brought it out for for some unknown reason. I don't know why, but that was pathetic. And then last year, thank God we didn't have it. Thank God we didn't have it. I'm gonna tell you why. Because that would have been the most pathetic ass shit ever. I don't want to sit down and watch my team holding a turnover chain, being down 40-something. You know what I'm saying? And then, hopefully we don't lose to fucking Middle Tennessee State again. I think we played them again this year. I believe so. If we do, I want our get back. That's all I'm going to say. Enjoy your day, people. We're going to watch the spring game tomorrow. Good luck. W-A, tell them about it. all the canes gone wild when we yelling in.